Okay, so this week I'm in London. I randomly decided to go to London just because I was getting really bored in the house and the floor is not going down till Friday and I just didn't want to have to keep looking at this empty, this sort of half unfloored floor. But anyway, um, I went to the Barbican Museum um, yesterday, which is actually my favorite museum out of all the museums. Like my favorite kind of museum is one that has, um, where you can like relive the past, where it has like models or um, just rooms or just models, like, you know, you, you look at, like a model of like a Roman village or something um, and they've also got quite a few rooms where it looks like you've actually walked into some sort of ancient Roman house and stuff and I, I love this because every time I go there I always end up having a really deep conversation with myself over you know if I was a god what would I do and I love looking at models of towns or old things because I feel like I've always felt like this even before I believed what I believed so even when I was like 13, 14, 15 you know I'd, I'd love to look at models and kind of just imagine myself looking over um, in the past, looking over some sort of ancient um, castle or Roman ruin, or not Roman ruin, it wasn't a ruin back then, it was a proper village, a Roman village. Um, and I'd, I'd always think to myself, like, you know, if I was God, what would I do? It's just something that I, I don't know if you've ever come across these thoughts, but I, I've, I've had these thoughts throughout my life. And um, yeah. I'm pretty, I've had the same conversation loads and loads of times and I'm pretty sure, it's, I don't even know if I've said this, have I said this to you before? Anyway, I, I need to say it just in case because I've forgotten what I've said to you. Um, but there was a time where people used to worship the goddess and, um, you know, in the ancient times that the goddess and female worship was very much appreciated. Now, I think um, at the, that, that time, the population was very slurs very small um you know you could keep an eye on the villages and, and the people and, and get to know different characters and i and see their development and stuff um but i feel like when it came to the roman times the Ro when the roman empire started expanding that's when problems started arising because the population was getting really really big um that any old soul would go into a body because there was loads and loads of bodies so you're getting all these sort of souls that weren't 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 really ready to be human basically um and so if you imagine that you see this model village and you can see all the little people walking around then imagine that there's a big number above everyone's head that has the number of how many lives that person has had now if they're if they die before they're 15 i don't think it it counts as official life because they shouldn't really be um, they shouldn't be judged. If, if you're a child, it's it's unfair to properly properly judge someone. Um, so I, I think if if you die before the age of before the age of sixteen, um, then it kind of goes down as a half a point. And then if you die, say at sixteen, the next year, then you'll get counted. You, you'll get judged by the two lives sort of combined together, not including the first three years, because I don't think the soul's properly woken up in, in, in those years. But anyway. Um, if you imagine walking around a village and everyone's got a big number across their head, you know, one, two or three, I think around that time people had only had maybe one to five lives. The ones that were born in, you know, that had the five above their head were usually the rulers or the children of the rulers. You know, I, I think I set things up so that the people who had had most lives would be the people that had most opportunities and because their kids would be you know, they'll get a soul of a kid who's most similar to them. You know, if a soul, if a child has had, if a soul has had four or five lives, they're more likely to get a parent who has also had four or five lives. Um, so, you know, this is, I think this is how it is. Now, if you imagine there's a, a city, of a, a Roman city full of people with numbers on their head, there's going to be a lot that have the number one on there. That's the first life as a human and um, and then there's going to be a few that have two or three and then you've got the sort of leaders who would have five five or six and um now imagine suddenly the population starts doubling and then doubling again suddenly everyone starts walking around with with a one on their head because there's you know there's lots of souls that are um, having their first life and this is when problems start being caused because people when they when souls when they are animals they learn they learn to rape they learn to steal they learn to savagely attack people and to have no feelings and you know as an animal like there's people say you know as a child you learn bad habits but as an adult you you learn better habits and well i think the same can be said with a soul when a soul is an animal you learn you know 
kill or be killed and you learn all these bad things from when you're an animal okay good things as well you learn to live and to develop and to, and to try and think and to try and make good decisions and you know dogs are definitely not savages um if they're tamed and, and looked after right but of course people didn't really have pets back then um so most of the people living you know would have just been a complete wild animal in their past or whatever so um you know um this is that's when problems started arising and therefore i think that the at, at, when it got to a certain stage there was suddenly too many people that the population was getting too big too many people having this number one sign and that was a problem because people that are only living their first life are far more likely to go down a bad path um and so that's when i think god myself my higher self said that okay from before it was you know your first life 50 percent chance you're male 50 percent chance you're female um but from now on now that the population is getting too big and there's too many people with this number one sign um i'm going to make sure that everyone lives their first life as a woman there so everyone's first life will be a woman from from that from that stage onwards um and um by doing that what happened though was this change in sort of feeling you know the people that have had four or five lives they were picking up on the fact that a lot of women not all women because not all women but a lot of women had weren't as intelligent and i think you know in the, in the egyptian in the ancient greek time you know women did learn to read and write and, and women were given more opportunities but i think it changed in the roman time and whilst you know when the goddess changed when the goddess got lost i think that was the point where souls first souls that have not have not been human but have been human for the first time um they were always first women and i think when that happened i think the smarter ones noticed that women on the whole were slightly dumber not because they were dumber but just because they, they were living their first lives now this implemented the idea that maybe god isn't a woman because you know god is supposed to be smart and a lot of these women are you know if they all had number ones on their head or not all of them but a lot of them um you know that i think was what implemented the change of getting rid of the goddess and creating a new goddess a, a guy who's male and that needed to happen because males okay well, females are more like me and males are more like martin um whoever martin is i'm pretty sure it is a person but at the same time they've they, they have more freedom to be how they're better at killing um and by rising this sort of male god um it gives this sort of impression that war is okay and that murdering is is okay and okay the smarter ones turned murder into things like the gladiators you know they turned it into a sport into a game um a savage someone who's living their first life if they wanted to kill they would probably do it in in, in a disgusting manner whereas um someone who's living a fifth life um you know they would probably turn it into a sport into a game making it seem like it's something fun you know and murder and slavery and stuff you know this was a all a problem of, of the male rule but at the same time it kind of needed to happen just because houses get done a lot faster a lot better and okay it's a shame for the people that have to suffer but I, I suppose they learn skills they're forced to learn skills i mean if you could just lie in a bed all day you would i mean i if i could lie in a bed all day i would uh, i don't want to but it's if you if you don't have anything to do then that's what happens and so slavery okay it's it's bad but and i don't agree with it but at the same time it had its uses and it was the reason why the roman empire became so great in the first place um but yeah there's good and bad and everything and i i think the shift happened because of this new rule where all first lives become women now that, that doesn't mean that every woman is has living their first life that's 100 percent not the case because there's a lot of sexist males who think that you know males are better and they think that women aren't capable of thinking and stuff like this and you know i, I think if every male not the females but every every male gets um assessed on how sexist they are or how um you know they, they get judged half uh, more harshly than than women so because women are less likely to be sexist just because they are women so it would be unfair to, to rate them in the same way but males get assessed on whether they um on how sexist they are now if they're deemed to be far more than the average person sexist then that will determine the fact that say if they've been raping people as well that's also a de determination as to why they would become female so um i think that's 
what happened. Females, the majority of females were either people living their first life or were people who are living a third or fourth life, only uh, a, a woman because of some sort of punishment, because of some sort of sexism that they had towards women in the past life, you know. And um, now it's different. This is a lot longer. You know, I think a lot of people are living 10th, 11th life now. And um, I don't know how many lives the average smart person has, but it's probably around 10. Um, and I think the average dumb person is probably around four or five. Um, and, and therefore, you know, the number of women who are living their first life, I think it's high in the Middle East. I think there's a lot of women in, in the Middle East, who, you know, I mean, to me, covering veil, wearing veils and, and not wanting to expose yourself. Okay, there's a lot of guys that rape out there, but there's a lot of guys who are in their, you know, second or third life. And, and that, that's kind of what happens over there. And, and if the women are in their first lives, uh, it's, it's a really complicated story, and I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to say it in this video, but basically um, women have are, are less are less sort of violent and are less dominant, and I think the whole male rule was something that was always going to happen. Now, if someone is, or if a soul is less intelligent or less, you know, able to understand the true meaning or the true pain of suffering, um, they're less likely to, to feel offended by it um my mum is a complete idiot and i swear at her all the time and she just it's like talking to a brick wall most of the time i think she's living her first life i think she's a complete idiot um but yeah if there is going to be this sort of male rule and dominant this is in the past i'm not talking about now because this is this is different times now but in the past there was this male rule and this kind of hatred of women yes uh, or hatred of weakness i think it was um and well if the women were going to be what mostly so of 50 percent of them were going to be souls that are living their first life then it wouldn't actually mean that they would suffer as much because technically well they're human you know you, you've got to take everything with you know you've got to be glad for everything you have and if they would have all just been animals in their past life and they're living their first life as a human um you know if they are forced to just do nothing in the home or, or just forced to be a prostitute or forced to do stuff like this you know it, they wouldn't have been so offended because subconsciously their soul would have been connected to what they were like when they were an animal and yeah animals have sex with whoever and they don't take it badly and okay that's not how it, it is now because most women have had four or five six lives maybe ten you know there's plenty of women that have had loads and loads of lives and it's 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 different now you shouldn't see women as being stupid because of that but i feel like the reason why this sort of the rejection of the goddess and the reason why there is this sort of whole dumb dumb women kind of theology i think it's come from the fact that God saw the rise of sexism, the rise of the hatred towards women or hatred towards weakness. And I think that was when the point came when God was like, okay, from now on, anyone living their first life will be a woman. But that doesn't mean that just because you're a woman, you are living in your first life. And now it's definitely a lot different. I'm pretty sure there's loads of women who are, you know, it's, it's definitely just, you know, ignore that now. But I think this, if you want to know why the goddess was rejected, I think it was that, and I think God did that. I did that um, because of this growing hatred towards women. And if, if women are slightly dumber, then they're not going to be as offended by it. Um, because you know, my mom's not offended by anything. Literally, there's so many things I could say to her. I just yell at her. So, I hate her so much. She's such an idiot. But it's just like, however much I try and insult her, she just doesn't doesn't like. She doesn't doesn't affect her in any way and it's just what's wrong with her like she's a fucking idiot but anyway um but yes this is where it came about but yes this everything has changed now so um you know and it, it, even if a woman is living a 10th an eighth life or something that's you know that's still a lot more intelligent than what the average roman leader would be because i'm pretty sure the average roman leader was about four maybe five but yeah um yeah so I don't, it's, 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 if you see it from that perspective, um, I, I think you'll give the answer as to why the goddess was removed. And, and the goddess needed to be removed because the population was getting too big. And if males rule, they will do things like gladiators and slavery, which, OK, would will kill a lot of people because the slaves were treated pretty badly. But, um, you know, I, I don't agree with slavery, but 
if you knew what Rome would be like without slaves, there wouldn't be a Rome. There would, you know, you would still be back in the Dark Ages. If, if you didn't have slaves, these cities wouldn't have wouldn't have got as as high and as far as they have and people wouldn't have been forced to learn skills okay some other skills though are just moving bricks from one place to the other but you might think that's not a skill but it, it is a skill it's the skill of getting up every day it's the skill of saying i want to do something or not want to but i'm forced to do it i i'm doing something i'm working nine to five okay i'm, I'm not really happy but it's it's this sort of mind that makes you work and even when you die and you think okay now, now i'm in a richer life I, I can take a break partly you think well i, I should be working and I, I feel like you know there's, there's good and bad and everything and 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 yeah i just i i i'm pretty sure that's it and i i think it's still the case i think not most women now because i'm pretty sure most people have had at least three four to twelve lives um, but yeah, if, if I think of the Middle East and if I think of all these women that walk around with veils and, you know, they think that's completely normal. They think that's completely fine. And I, the only thing that I can think is that there's a big number one above their head. You know, that, that is all I can think because I just don't see how, how that's, how, you know, that's, I don't, I don't see how you can walk around it covered in a veil if there isn't a big number one above your head. Um, you know, I know it's, it's tradition and believing your family, but I, I wouldn't. If I was born into a Muslim culture and they, they were forcing me to wear a veil, I would probably have run away at the age of six. Like, I mean, I was, I was running away from the church at the age of six because I realised how stupid it was. Um, and I'm pretty sure I would have done exactly the same if I was brought in a Muslim family. Um, I would have rejected, you know, the idea of covering because um, I don't agree with that. But anyway... <laughs>